Elon Musk doesn't seem to be interested in listening to those who say that you should not fix what isn't broken. The Tesla Model Y, which is already a commercial success, is getting a makeover, which might help the company's mass-market car attract more people. Hey everyone, and welcome to Tesla News, where we bring you the newest and best updates about Tesla and Elon Musk. For daily videos, please consider subscribing to our channel, and don't forget to join our Discord server to discuss future topics. Moving on to the topic. The 2021 Tesla Model Y, which uses the chassis, interior, and powertrain from the smaller Model 3, adds greater cargo room, any optional third row of seats, and SUV style. It accelerates rapidly in all directions and handles effectively on curvy routes. The ride is firm, but not uncomfortable. The Model Y has a high driving range for an EV and excellent efficiency ratings. The cabin is made of high-quality materials, and the first two rows of seats are spacious and comfy. There's plenty of technology on board, as well as a spacious cargo capacity. The Model Y is Tesla's first vehicle to employ a heat pump for interior cabin heating rather than electric resistance. Other manufacturers' vehicles such as the Nissan Leaf, BMW i3 EV, Jaguar I-Pace, Audi e-tron, and Kia Nero have already integrated heat pumps. In cold temperatures, the Model Y heat pump can be up to 300% more efficient than the electric resistance heating used by earlier Tesla vehicles. As a result, the Model Y should be more energy efficient than other Tesla vehicles in cold water. When heated, electric vehicles can lose 40% or more of their range in cold weather, below 20 degrees Fahrenheit, 7 degrees centigrade or lower. During his disassembly of the Model Y, auto analyst Sandy Munro discovered an octo valve, which appears to be the next edition of the super bottle component utilized in the Model 3. Musk has stated that the new heat pump system slash octo valve is one of the two major differences between the Model Y and the Model 3. The other key difference is the new rear underbody casting. As part of the car's thermal management system, the octo valve supports the Model Y heat pump. A few weeks after the Model Y's launch, the automaker astonished everyone again by lowering the price of the new base model by $2,000. A few days later, Tesla withdrew the new lower price model from its Model Y configuration, adding to the uncertainty. Musk stated that Tesla is still providing the vehicle as an off-the-menu option, which means that purchasers must be aware of it and place an order in person or over the phone. According to the CEO, he made it an off-the-menu option because he believes the range under various drive circumstances satisfies the Tesla level of excellence. This is not the first time the automaker's done something similar. It's also kept its promise of producing a $35,000 Model 3. The fate of the Model Y standard range as an off-the-menu item is unknown, as Tesla ended up discontinuing orders for the Model 3 standard range with the arrival of the 2021 version. Model Y comes with a 48-amp onboard charger and a 20-foot wire that can connect to a 120-volt household power outlet, both of which are standard on a 240-volt outlet that can also be used with an adapter, as can a dedicated wall charger purchased from Tesla or a third-party vendor. To charge your Tesla while on the road, you can either use a Tesla supercharger station or the J1772 adapter, which is included with the vehicle. You can also use char demo stations if you have an adapter available. Tesla began selling a Model Y standard range in the crucial EV market earlier this summer. There are reports of a Tesla Model Y with a 400-mile range after the company applied for additional versions of the electric SUV to be manufactured at the Gigafactory Shanghai. The Driven has obtained data from Chinese authorities, indicating that Tesla may be working on a Model Y with considerably greater range than what's currently available. The data specifies a range of 640 kilometers, which equates to about 400 miles of all-electric range. This would put the Model Y on par with Tesla's Model S, and it would even outperform the Model X's current advertised range. This is one of the five variations that's been registered in China. The Model Y comes in a variety of trim levels, including Standard Range, Standard Range Plus, Long Range, and Performance. 
The standard range RWD variant was cancelled in July 2020 due to Musk deeming the range, 230 miles EPA, to be unacceptably short. However, it was still orderable as of January 2021, with 244 miles of EPA range. The most surprising is the long-range rear-wheel drive, which Tesla originally announced and took orders for but has never manufactured. This car might be less expensive than the long-range all-wheel drive, but provides the performance customers require and has a longer range. If everything goes well, we'll see what happens with that in China and possibly the United States. In China, the Model Y has been outselling the Model 3, so it makes sense for it to be the first Tesla model to have more options. The Model Y has also been spotted delivering the first to clients in Europe. As seen by social media posts, the first handovers have occurred in Germany, the Netherlands and Norway. Tesla Arti says that the Model Y invasion in Europe has begun in light of the initial deliveries in Europe. Tesla did not provide an exact date for the start of deliveries, but it was hinted at after the Model Y was unveiled in Berlin and other places. Meanwhile, other deliveries in Germany, including Dortmund Holzwickeda, the Frankfurt area and Kiel, have been documented via social media posts by Tesla's salespeople or consumers. It's unknown how many automobiles have been delivered thus far. Along with Germany, the first Model Y were delivered to clients in Norway. Tesla, according to the Norwegian news agency TEK.no, has booked an exhibition space in Lillestrøm, east of Oslo, to present the Model Y. A Tesla manager in Norway further stated that the vehicles unloaded in Oslo would be distributed to various sites throughout the country. In the Netherlands, a Model Y has already been delivered. Their white Model Y long range, according to Twitter user at M underscore Steinbuck, was the first in the country. Twitter users from the UK who attended a showroom event stated that local workers said a right-hand drive variation could be available in the following quarter. Customers received their autos in August, just one month later than originally promised. So far, only the Tesla Model S has been rated at more than 400 miles of EPA combined range, 402 miles since 2020, and 412 miles currently predicted. But as we all know, range increases remain the company's top objective. The forthcoming Plaid Plus version will have a range of more than 500 miles. The company expects 520 miles. The new, made-in-Texas MIT Tesla Model Y will receive the latest 4680 battery cells and structural battery packs, as well as other enhancements, including mega castings, which should result in significant gains in efficiency, weight, and cost. Tesla already stated in September 2020 that it expects to be able to boost range by around 30% without using any new chemistry, simply by switching to the new cell-slash-pack arrangement. The 2021 Tesla Model Y Long Range is rated at 326 miles, 303 miles in the case of the performance variant, which means that Tesla would have to increase by 22.7% to achieve 400 miles. In other words, while there are technical possibilities for reaching 400 miles, range is the first goal, and the Model S would not be outdone as it continues to improve. There's also the fact that the 4680's availability will be limited at first, so it'd be better to start with a new, top-of-the-line Model Y with the highest range and an acceptable higher margin, rather than starting at a lower point and competing with the Fremont-made Model Y. There's a lot of truth to the rumors. They are likely to be substantially cheaper than the round cells that Panasonic manufactures at Gigafactory 1 in Nevada, which Tesla now uses to construct smaller packs for its regular range cars made in Fremont, California. Nevada 2170 round cells may be needed elsewhere. The planned Gigafactory is in Texas, and Greenheath should be able to accommodate the new 4680 battery format with structurally integrated battery packs. The 4680 cells, on the other hand, have yet to be mass-produced. Thus, the 2170 cells will likely be employed first. Plan B now appears to be more likely, but nothing's been verified. Backup plan was also mentioned by Elon Musk so that the vehicle ramp-up in Austin and Giga Berlin would not be compromised. It's possible that customers in the United States will profit from the switch. On one hand, the introduction of LFP batteries might enhance the range of the standard range models, based on the ranges of the Chinese models. And on the other hand, there could be a Model Y standard range in the USA, 
this has so far only been made and supplied in China. Recently, rumors circulated that the battery size of the standard range vehicles made in China could be increased from 55 to 60 kWh. So, what are your thoughts? How much will the range increase by switching to 4680 cells, or will it remain the same? Let us know what you think. That's it for today's video, guys. That was a lot. I'd like to thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next video.